Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna present my latest MATLAB app for chirp spread spectrum communication using software defined radios or SDR. Uh, in this video um, I'm going to show you both hardware and uh, software application. On the transmitter side we can see uh, we have to define SDR parameters or the trip signal parameters. Here we have center frequency, interpolation factor, gain, and local oscillator offset. And for the trip, the number of users, duration, Nyquist uh, ratio for sampling, and uh, you know how we want to send the f if we want to send the image, text, or random bits for beta rate calculations. Also, we can choose linear and nonlinear case. Uh, this gouge shows the percentage of packets pro and the percentage of process on top. As you can see, uh, I also put zero padding uh, in this design uh, and synchronization trip before uh, my bit chirp. So I'm, I loaded a, an example image uh, for transmission. The linear trip is the one that uh, is famous linear trip and nonlinear is the one that we propose in our paper. By clicking on the start button, uh, you see the process starts to go forward. Here you can see the red light for transmitter side and a receiver CR B2. All right, now that the process is on 100%, we can see the time domain and frequency domain. If I zoom in, you can see that it's a chirp and uh, the frequency changes with time. And the, and the spectrum, if I show the spectrogram you can have a better observation as you can see we send a linear chirp and uh, it's a binary zero and one you can see here and if i put the power and it's more obvious how it works. Another option we have in the platform is nonlinear, which we propose in our uh, research paper that you can access on my website. Uh, but as you can see, these nonlinear chirps uh, plotted there on the left side. And if we do the spectrogram, you can obviously see the nonlinearity. Uh, for more details, please read the paper. Uh, why we choose nonlinear uh, chirps. And if we uh, plot in power, it's more obvious uh, nonlinearity here. All right, let's go to the receiver side. Uh, in the receiver, uh, we have less configuration parameters um, and uh, again you see the linear chips and the parameters that are the result of what we have in real system you can see in, um, in the bottom part of the platform now both uh, transmitter and receiver are uh, working and uh, we can now calculate the bit error rate or see the bits uh, on the time frame. You can see the green light means receiving and red means transmitting. And after a little time, if you press start and uh, finish the, the job, um, you can see. Um, the bits zero and ones and I put zero one zero one zero one just uh, to indicate that for you 
and these are the synchronization correlations on the left and the beats on the right which we can see there was no error in this example now i repeat uh, the recording uh, data at the receiver with uh, different parameters this time and uh, you, if we uh, wait a little more time to receive more bits uh, you can see the result see so uh, we wait more we have more bits but we see two errors in the uh, bit stream thanks for watching if you are interested like subscribe and visit the website